What's up everybody, my name is Cameron and I'm here today to talk to you about how to manage your time and busy schedule. Rick Warren once said that your time is your most precious gift because you only have a set amount of it. So how many times have we said to ourselves, man, I wish I had more time or I'd be able to do X, Y, and Z if I just had more time. And the truth is, for most situations, the problem isn't that we don't have enough time. The problem is that we did not tell our time where to go. If we use money as an example, we should have a budget. And that budget tells our money where to go and where also not to go. So that at the end of the week or that month, we still have enough left over to take care of what we need to. So in essence, a schedule is a budget for our time. Now it's important to understand that we don't create schedules just to help us with our busyness, but we create them to help us be more productive. Because being busy and being productive are two completely different things. There's a quote that says, unsuccessful people are busy being busy, while successful people are busy being productive. And that's what we want to be. Even in um, Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 through 16, it tells us to be careful how we live, be wise, and make the best use of our time. So I believe that having a schedule is very vital in fulfilling everything that we need to do on a day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month, or even year-to-year basis. And that will help us fulfill the purpose that God has for our life. So let's talk about how to create a schedule in a few simple steps. I first recommend that you um, have at least two schedules, one for your work time or if you own your own business, and another for your personal and or family time. And if you are married, I do recommend that you include your wife in this process because there are things that she'll need time for that will affect your schedule. So step one is to find a method that works best for you. Um, there is no one-size-fits-all um, method for scheduling. And also understand that it will be a process that will involve trial and error. So don't get discouraged if it takes you a few times to figure out a schedule that really works well for yourself and or your family. Just keep making the changes, keep making the tweaks as you go along, and don't give up. Step two is to list out all of your to-dos. Now this is just a big brain dump, so don't worry about being organized too much at this step. But these, this is going to include things like um, what you're currently doing, things that you should be doing but are not doing yet, and then also things that you want to do. Now once you have all those listed out, you can move to step three, which is prioritize that list but also write out beside each one how many days of the week those things need to be done or how many days of the week you want to see those things done depending on what the item is. And this is very important for when you go to actually build your schedule, so don't rush through it. Once you've completed that, you're now ready for the fourth and final step, which is simply build your schedule. Now I do recommend you using something that you can edit pretty easily because as you start, it's gonna be like putting a big puzzle together. You'll be moving things around, changing things, and just you know coming up with the best um, schedule for yourself. So I, for example, use Google Calendar. I just like the way that it works. Um, I like being able to build out several calendars and I can see them all at the same time on any device that I'm using. I actually personally have four calendars. Um, because of what I do for work, I have two for work, then I have a personal calendar, and also what I call a productivity calendar as well. Now, as you start piecing things together, you want to start with the things that already have set times and days in your week, and then build everything else around that based on the priority that you gave them in step three. Also, understand that you will be having to probably change time frames of things um, here and there to fit things together, and some things might not even make the final cut, and that's okay. That's again why we prioritize in step three. Just keep those things um, for the future, and as things change and your schedule opens up, start sliding those things in there. So four steps, that's it, pretty simple, um, but an effective way to start organizing your time and being more productive. Uh, I can say a whole lot more, but that's all the time that I have for today. So I hope the information was helpful. God bless. Thank you.